Hello everyone, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars. And I know that there's been a lot of things that's been going on, being said about Star Wars, and myself included. There's a lot of people who are not happy with the direction that Disney's Lucasfilms has been taking Star Wars, and that's not because the reasons that they say that we're middle-aged, sexist, misogynistic man babies, that just isn't the case. And the fact that they keep saying that, and the fact that it's not true, it's just so much more upsetting because by them accusing us of those things without taking the time to listen to us and what we're saying, they don't hear. They claim to listen and to take things into account, but they're not. I do what I do here on YouTube, and I've continued to do it because I love Star Wars. Because Star Wars, to me, is... The world is like a dark tunnel, and Star Wars is the light at the end of that tunnel. It what, it's what gets me through rough situations, you know? Life is hard. It's always going to be hard. There's always going to be something going on that is another obstacle for you to overcome. And Star Wars is that happy escape. It takes you to a galaxy far, far away. And Luke Skywalker teaches you the journey, a hero's journey, and how to be a good person, how to be a Jedi Knight. And that's magical, and that's what captivated the entire world was watching this adventure and watching these characters and watching the relationship between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker and watching a good person that turned to the dark side and his inner struggles and battles and then a younger person who is on that path that could potentially go to the dark side but doesn't but stays a true person and is able to bring who was a person who was once a good person back from the dark side. And they do it in this universe with the Force, and it's magical, and it's captivated the entire world. And so watching something that powerful, and now it's been taken and marketed and used, and then the characters that made it what it was, they're told that they're no longer important, that people don't need to look up to them, that girls are incapable of relating to Luke Skywalker because he's a boy. But as a girl, growing up, it didn't matter that Luke Skywalker was a boy. Luke Skywalker was a good person and he wanted to do something with his life and he took everything in him to become a Jedi and he struggled and he worked hard for it and at the end he got what he wanted he became a Jedi Knight, and he did have to sacrifice a lot to get there. And it's that journey that captivated me and drew me to Luke Skywalker. And Darth Vader, also a guy, was my favorite character. It didn't matter that he was the bad guy. He was a very intriguing and captivating character. And every moment that he was on screen, his presence demanded your attention. And I was drawn to Darth Vader. It doesn't matter what their gender is. I could care less about that. The fact is that they were relatable characters, even though they were in a galaxy far, far away that is nothing like the world that we live in here on Earth. It doesn't matter. You can still tell a story that pushes across a message, which is the battle between good and evil and what it means to be a good person, and it doesn't have to have these ideals shoved down your throat. They do it in a way that is appropriate, and that's why Star Wars was so successful, and to see what's happened to Star Wars, and what they've done, and the fact that they say, you know, they're not important anymore. We need to push them away to make room for these new characters. Well, if you're gonna do that, then you need to make these new characters as important as you made the old characters. And that's not by taking them and putting them 
in the center of the screen and saying, this person is important, pay attention to them. No, it's by showing them and showing their journey and showing the things that they overcome. And that's why these new characters have gotten a lot of backlash. It's not because people like me went into the theater expecting to hate it. No, I went into The Last Jedi excited. I was so optimistic and I was so excited to see Luke Skywalker. I was so excited to find out who Rey was. As much as I do not like the character of Kylo Ren, I was hoping, hoping that he would redeem himself in this movie and it would explain the actions of the first movie, but no. Instead, it took everything that Star Wars was and it destroyed it. And it broke my heart because I love Star Wars and I don't want to see it get used like this. I don't like what's happening to Star Wars. That's why I continue to make videos because Star Wars is in my very blood and people can say what they want. You can say that it's just a movie. If it's just a movie to you, then it's just a movie to you, but it's not just a movie to me. And other people don't get to tell you what is important to you because they don't know who you are. Just like people that come on here and say that stuff to me, they don't know who I am and they don't get to justify what they think should be important to me in my life. Star Wars is important to millions of people and that's why it's gotten the reaction that it did. You didn't see that in The Empire Strikes Back when everyone found out that Darth Vader was Luke's father. People didn't say this is the worst movie ever made and you know I'm never gonna watch Star Wars again. No. They continue to watch Star Wars. It gained support and it wasn't you know a slap in the face to fans. It was this is a monumental event that's happening in this movie and it's critical to the plot whereas The Last Jedi it intentionally took things that were in place and pushed them to the side to push a different narrative that isn't Star Wars. If you want to make your movies and push these narratives that's great. I'm happy that you are motivated enough to make that happen do it. Do your own movie and do it that way. Don't take something that millions of people loved and something that millions of people looked up to and destroy it. There's so much hate going on in this world that I don't see the point in wrecking something that gave everyone so much hope. And I don't see the point in all of this hate that's being spread about it. I'm here and I continue to make videos because I love Star Wars and I can't stand to see what's happening to it. I do this because I'm trying to fight for something that I loved that I feel was wronged. I'm not trying to spread hate. I'm trying to spread awareness and I'm trying to make those who are spreading the hate and that are destroying the things that I love understand just how just how their actions hurt a lot of people and I don't think they're aware of how significant the little things are that they are doing because something that is just a grain of rice to some person it means the entire world to someone else. And that's all I'm trying to do and I'm just trying to fight for something that I love because I can't stand what's happening to it. Well, sorry for being such a Debbie Downer but that's just how I'm feeling and I know that's how a lot of people are feeling. So everyone, have a great rest of your week. And may the force be with you because we are going to need it.